Okay guys, welcome to a new video, a new tutorial video. This is another tutorial that you're going to need the homebrew channel for. And I'm going to be showing you how to download and how to use a wad manager. And you might be asking, what's a wad manager? Like a spit wad or a gum wad or something? No, they just call it that because that's the file format that... Bolt that we menu channels are in so normally if you wanted to get a wad you go to the Wii shop channel and download it and go to straight to Wii menu but the Wii shop channel is gone now so we can't do that anymore so what you're gonna want to do here is Google download Wii mod light spell right here Wii mod light and you're gonna click on this this first link and it will take you to this github site and you're going to click Wiimod Lite version 1.7. The older versions don't work. Now you're going to click download Wiimod Lite version 1.7 zip. You're going to go there. And now you're going to open your folders. And you're going to open the folder. Alright. And there's going to be an apps folder. You can open that. And then it will take you to this inside is Wiimod light. you're going to drop that in your apps folder over here, I accidentally copied it twice, I didn't mean to do that, so my stupid ass copied it twice, you probably won't copy it twice though, so now you can eject if it led me, there it goes, the Wiimod thing what you're going to need to do is right click to, open a new fo to make a new folder and some people want to call the folder wad so you can do that if you want but it really doesn't matter what you call it so just for the hell of it I'm gonna call it Kermit's nipples so inside so inside of the Kermit's nipples folder you're gonna to have to put a wad in there so I got a super punch out wad and you're just gonna to have to look up like download wads of games that were on the Wii shop channel or just any channels for the Wii and I can't really show you where to find them because apparently that's illegal or something so now you're going to drag your super, your super punch out wad, that's what I have, or any game you want, and put that in your Kermit's Nipples folder, or whatever you decided to call yours. And it will copy it, and then it will say dismiss, or you're going to click dismiss. And now you're going to click back up, and eject your SD card. I always tell you to eject your SD card with this button, because if you don't, you could lose a lot of data. I, I always used to pull it out of my computer, and I lost like 600 megabytes worth of files and I just download them all again. So yeah, that's basically it on the computer and I'll see you guys on the Wii. Alright guys, here we are back on the Wii, so you're gonna insert your SD card into your Wii U or Wii, as always. This tutorial applies for Wii and Wii U. Wii Mod Lite works for both. So you're gonna open up the homebrew channel now. And you're gonna, if it's now you're gonna find Wii Mod Lite on here, you're gonna open it, load it, and flying patches, please wait. It says so, yeah, you gotta wait for that. It always takes a little bit of time, okay? So now it says iOS is WAD Manager App Loader. You're gonna go press down on the D pad for, for WADs, Wii SD slot is what we have it in, or USB or whatever. So Wii SD slot for us. And now we're gonna go down to our our Kermit's nipples folder that we created. And inside is our wad, super punch out. One file mark and you're gonna press plus on your controller. And then you're gonna press A for it. One file marked for installation. Do you want to proceed? Press A for yes or B for no. And then it will tell you reading wide data, installing ticket, installing title, installing contents. And that will take a little while to do. It's installing it basically, writing data. And it said finishing installation. Okay, so press any key to continue. Now you're going to want to go back. Or whatever. Now we're done. So it always it says returning the loader when you press home, but for me it never works. It always just freezes my Wii and people say, it's, oh, it's, it's bad, you shouldn't unplug your Wii. 
but I'm gonna unplug it, unplug it anyway, and then, because I've done it 900,000 times and nothing ever happens. So now you're gonna turn your Wii back on, or if yours reboots, mine didn't, because my Wii is stupid. I remember one time it fell out of the trunk of a car. That's probably why it doesn't do what I want it to sometimes. It's probably why it doesn't do what I want it to sometimes. Stupid thingy. So now you're gonna go back to the Wii menu. Or your Wii will just turn on and go to the Wii menu if you have the Wii. Which I don't have the Wii U. I don't know why I keep saying that. But now when it turns on just wait a second for it to and press A and if everything go if everything worked correctly then now we can play Super Punch Out or whichever game you chose. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and have a very good day.